it ladies and gents, this is going to be my review of WWE Smackdown that was on, on the 14th of the 12th. Um, <clears throat> so let's just start as we mean to go on with the first match which was Big Show versus R-Truth and you'll have to excuse me, my voice is going and so I may cough or, or something during this, I really don't mean to do it but I'm, I'm coming down with something and um, so if I do cough I'm really sorry, I'm just going to pour myself the juice out. I'm very unprofessional at the moment. I should have really done this before the take, but never mind. So anyway, we're going to start off with Sh Big Show versus R-Truth. This was a nice uh, filler match. It had Sheamus and Cesaro on commentary. <clears throat> the match was used basically to big up their uh, championship matches um, on uh, for TLC on Sunday. I'm really sorry about this. I should have done this before. Anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, this was basically used as a promo, really, um, to get hype for the respective matches. Um, <clears throat> at the end of the match, show one, um, <clears throat> then he tried, Big Show tried to taunt Sheamus into hitting him. Remember, if Sheamus did hit him, he would lose his title shot at TLC. Cesaro then snuck up behind Sheamus, pushed him into Big Show. Which made Show think that Cena that uh, which made Show think that because uh, Sheamus hit Show via the push, his title shot was now gone. In a VT with Show after the match and after they'd left the ring, um, Show had gone up to Booker um, and basically asked him, "This is now that that match is gone because obviously Sheamus hit me with his bad Irish temper." Booker though threw this argument to the curb and said the match would still happen at TLC. It has to, they've already lost um, the WWE Championship match, they couldn't lose the uh, World Heavyweight one. Sorry. Cut to a VT with, um, sorry, that's, I've, I've skipped ahead here. Then we had the Usos versus Road Scholars. A nice tag team filler match but with the Road, Road, uh, Road Scholars grabbing Grabbing tights to get the one, two, three. Nothing really to shout home about in this match, so I'm just going to skip ahead. Cut to a VT with David Atunga and Big Show talking about the no contact clause contract, discussing how in black and white it states no contact. They decide to go to the ring and decide to publicly uh, demand the match be called off and that Booker T be stripped of, the ge of his general manager position. Q Booker T who comes out and still says the match is on. Otunga says once they get Booker T fired, they will get a Sheamus fired, who, which then uh, cues uh, Sheamus, who runs to the ring with a steel chair and mic. He says into the mic, if the match is cancelled, there is nothing to shut or stop Sheamus from hitting Big Show with the chair there and then. Big Show picks up the mic from Otunga <clears throat> and nervously says, in my opinion, the contract is still valid. He then ducks out of the ring and runs off with his tail between his legs and Seamus bro kicks Otunga. Cut to a VT of, of The Shield beating up Randy Orton who was due to be interviewed after a break by Matt Stryker. Obviously we find out that he was beaten up by The Shield and left knocked out in the ruins of a broken table backstage. Then we have a D Divas battle between Caitlyn versus Oksana. Nice eye candy match with my dirty little secret Caitlyn here. Picking up the 1 2 3 against Oksana. Cut to another VT with Matt Striker outside the medical room of the arena, who tells uh, tells us the Apex Predator Randy Orton has torn his shoulder and it, and, and it needed to actually be popped back into its socket. There's also concerns that he has a concussion has been moved to a medical facility for further evaluation. Then Miss TV happened with Team Hell No as, as guest. They make their make a speech how they're going to decimate the Shield at TLC, only for the Shield to appear on the big screen of the arena. Um, they give a speech about how they're going to decimate Team Hell No and Ryback on Sunday. Kane then says why wait, and Roman Reigns finally says finally says uh, finally something we uh, all agree upon, and the Shield walk out of the room that they're in, uh, presumably to head to the ring. Daniel Bryant and Kane look around the arena wondering where the shield will come from, what direction. Daniel Bryant notices them on the, on the sides of the arena on a balcony and points up to them. 
The shield begin walking down um, <clears throat> towards the ring. Ryback's music goes off when they're about halfway down, and Ryback turns. Uh, Ryback runs out to join his tag partners on Sunday in the ring, making it three on three. The shield gets scared and run, runs away. Guess we will have to wait until Sunday to see the uh, result of this match after all. I'm really sorry, I, my throat is going. The Great Cali and Hornswoggle ju and Justin Gable and Tyson K Kidd then have a ma um, an eight-man tag match versus the Primetime Players and Epico and Primo. So it's a four and four. Nice filler match here with Justin Gabriel getting the one, two, three. Was a nice match to watch, but ultimately nothing special. Kofi versus Alberto Del Rio, a nice filler match with a shock end. Del Rio was dominating Kofi throughout, but Kofi managed to roll up Rio and get the one, two, three. Barrett tried to ambush Kofi when Kofi was leaving the match. His match, uh, Kofi saw him at the last moment and dodged. Then gave him a trouble in paradise. And then the last match of the night was um, <coughs> was um, Antonio Cesaro versus Sheamus. This was the main event match, and I was expecting the Shield to turn up during the match to right the wrong that Sheamus didn't lose his title shot at TLC when he initiated contact. That's initiated contact, and I was disappointed, <coughs> and I was left disappointed because the Shield did not run out. The match was a good one, but it did end in um, end via disqualification via countout. As the big show had grabbed William Regal, obviously Seamus' friend, and pushed him out onto the stage. And when Seamus saw, he ran to William Regal's aid. William Regal then begged Seamus not to touch Big Show as it would make his title shot disappear. Then Big Show Big, big Show hit William with a chair and strutted out of the arena. Cesaro won via obviously disqualification via count out. So that was a very rushed um, review of um, Smackdown. Please excuse me, I, I my throat is going. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure how long my throat's gonna hold out. I've still got a TLC prediction video to do today, um, which will be coming up very soon. I'm gonna try and quickly get that out just as fast because my throat, I've got a feeling I'm gonna lose my voice. So I'm trying to get all the videos done so I don't have to worry about them basically before TLC. Um, hopefully my voice will have recovered a little bit by TLC. Thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and all the rest of it. And please, please uh, tell me you get well soon in the comments. It means a lot. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.